Rosalind. Seems like a pretty rough area, but the street's not horrible. Houses don't look that well kept. One to the right here is vacant. Not a lot of board up, but they just kind of look beat up. And then a board up directly across the street here. Which looks pretty beat up. The roof's all broken in. Doesn't make our house look good. Then down this way oh, at the end of the street is townhomes. And there's a couple of those that are boarded up too just making the area feeling not as welcoming but the roof green shingles there's not a lot of damage to the shingles but I do notice some waviness uneven in the roof it has a driveway goes back pretty far but looks like it's just gravel sidings mostly good and, or there's no damage or not much damage needs to paint foundation looks all right I don't see any cracks medium sized backyard um, the driveway kind of ends here but it looks like you could have it go all the way back to this big two car concrete garage and it actually connects to the neighbors but it looks like this is our part right here some cracks in the structure but it's, for the most part it stands pretty strong or it looks like it's pretty so uh, yeah looks all right not the roof though the roof looks overgrown and old property line ends like right about here where the end of the garage is that's a neighbor's shed neighbor's backyard they look very well kept only see so much of the roof on the back no back deck really Looks like that was an addition at some point. Which when I stand up inside there it seems pretty structurally sound. Again on this side. Few damaged shingles or sh siding. Doesn't look like there's any soffit. And the wood underneath the roof looks extremely old. Probably, or in my opinion, looks like the roof needs to be replaced. Front porch. Definitely old and needs some repairs. It's not quite falling apart yet. Stairs have cracking in them, need some work. <laughs> as well as all, uh, I don't know, just needs a lot of work on the outside it looks like. Walking through the front here, stairs straight ahead and kitchen is right behind that. We'll walk over this way first. The living area. Some windows are in good condition. 
Some are pretty beat up. Um, this whole floor is drywall. Upstairs is stucco. Dining room. There's the pieces of dock work. Those are the supplies. Um, it has central air, but the dock work doesn't look professional at all. It looks sketchy. Here's the kitchen. Again, this floor is drywall, but there's some paneling in here and quite a few spots damaged. Off the kitchen here <clears throat> is like a pantry area. Maybe open this wall up here so that it's all one big area. And back door. Wood floors in the kitchen don't match the rest of the house. We go downstairs first, which is a real skinny, awkward stairway. Once you get down here, it's about six nine to the joint from the joist to the floor. So it could be finished. The joists look pretty good. I don't see any mold or very li little mold and termite damage. I don't see. That's where the ductwork is that to me doesn't look right. Some of it's broken. The way it's hanging, it doesn't look done correctly. Um. The back door, here's an electric panel, it's a big 200 amp panel, but, or actually the 150 amp panel, but all the wires are cut, all the copper's cut, the hot water heater's not in bad condition though. And copper's cut from the furnace. Over here is a sump pump. Foundation. I don't see any major issues or any issues really. Looks pretty good. Upstairs. Two bedrooms about the same size and they have the same ceiling uh, slant like this one. Good sized closet, and the ceilings are nice and tall besides where it goes down, just in this corner. And then the second bedroom across the hall is pretty much exactly the same. Feels a little bit smaller. Decent closet. And then stairs are that way. 
If you walk straight back, there's a small room that has an addition and bath, full bathroom, which the ceiling slants right there in the bathroom, just a little bit. Still comfortably high ceilings in here. Bathroom. Small addition. Just like I said, it's nice and sturdy. Without opening it up, I don't really see the point of it. 